Uh, Pierce Morgan, who was such a jerk, I think, was criticized on Twitter for calling 23-year-old tennis star Naomi Osaka an arrogant, spoiled brat because of her decision to withdraw from the French Open for the sake of her mental health. Uh, Pierce posts, uh, he posted the tweet, narcissistic Naomi's cynical exploitation of mental health to silence the media is right from the Meghan and Harry playbook of wanting their press cake and eating it too. What do you think about Pierce Morgan coming for another black woman, a young woman at that, and, uh, you know, kind of inserting himself into this? What do y'all think? Um, I think Pierce Morgan has a wild hair up his ass for women of color. Um, had this been a white woman, um, everybody would be, be, be falling and, and be running to her like a damsel in distress because they get to cry over the drop of a, of, of a range drop and the whole world is coming to an end. Yet somehow or another, Pierce Morgan is unable to see the humanity in, in women of color. Um, like I said, if this woman was white, it would be, oh my God, we commend her, you know, praise the Lord. She, she's getting the break that she needs, but because she's a, a black girl, all of a sudden she's ungrateful. I'm sure that's one of the things he probably thinks because let's face it, they don't, he doesn't feel that people that look like us deserve to be there in the first place. So he's probably calling her all kind of ungrateful and she needs to, 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 to tough it out, so on and so forth. Pierce just needs to go sit down because at this point, he's saying that she's taking a page out of the Meghan and Harry playbook, but he's taking a page out of the Donald Trump playbook where you just harp on these stupid, atrocious issues to pander to this crowd over there to keep your name relevant. And it, it's just pathetic at this point. He's for sure an attention who I have a little peer story, but I want to get Al's thoughts on this. Al, what do you think? Uh, you know, think I concur. This? I concur with uh, Funky on this, on the he's gaining from the PR. Now, this is what's interesting, though. Remember, he talked bad about Megan because he tried to date her and she dissed him to go meet Prince Harry. I think what we're seeing here is that Pierce is saw how much attention he got at attacking women of color from the Megan thing. And he decided to use this opportunity to, to attack another incredible woman who's ranked number two in a tennis in the world to get more media attention because Pierce, unfortunately, don't have a real job anymore. He walked out of one job and got fired from the other was bringing in all his income. What's so interesting to me, though, is that you would be so vulgar to use someone's mental health and use that as the crutch to define the person that you're going to attack. The real mental health issue here, in my opinion, is Pierce Morgan. You know, Angela, I want to get your thoughts on this. I just want to say real quick, um, he was on Celebrity Apprentice on the panel the year that I was on it. And, you know, we kind of but, but bumped heads a little bit. He's just very bitch made and he's not only decades older than the women he's insulting constantly but he's like he's he's not reading the room he's like tone deaf you know it's a white man once again coming for a woman of color and and very being very judgy and dismissing yeah. one's feelings without even like you know like you have not walked any any steps in anyone in this woman's shoes you don't know you can't who are you to question when or when or someone is or is not having an issue you don't know this Right. And he's just constantly, he's a media whore. He'll do anything for attention. And when I, what I witnessed on the show was he was so far up, up Trump's butt. I mean, yeah. I, I can't really say what I want to say, but he was up in there. He was up, he was up in them guts. Let's just say that. Angela, what do you think? He was out there. Nobody was watching me. I'm going to tell you something. What I think is he better watch out for that choo-choo chain because he could be the next contestant on taking that cancel ride. That's what I think. If he already hasn't been, I know he got taken from the other show, um, the one that he um, made the comment about. Um, Good morning, Britain. Good morning, Britain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, it's you amazing that people, so, you know, it's people so that keep getting jobs. They keep getting jobs. Yes. He's not really that interesting to me, so I don't really pay too much attention to him. But um, you know, the the I, thing here is that he still has a huge megaphone, right? Yes. That works in the media, unfortunately. What right. I did enjoy, though, about this story was Billie Jean King, one of the, you could consider the best female tennis player in the history of tennis. Martina Navratilova, Steph Curry, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Russ Wilson, Lisa Leslie, and Ava du DuVernay all came to um, Naomi's Naomi. back and offered their support because they all understand 
that depression and anxiety is real with those Gen Zs. Gen Zs deal with depression and anxiety and their suicidal rates are 3.7% times higher than any other generation that exists. Uh -huh. They just don't know how to manage the pressure and they don't know how to manage the expectations and fame. And she clearly, if you watch her in any of her interviews, you see how that little girl shakes when she's in wow. front of those camera, her voice shakes, she's very uncomfortable and it causes her a lot of pain. Respect her right Absolutely. to bow out is what I'm saying.